Hi, this is Mark from LongIslandWatch.com, and I have a new brand for you today. It can kind of be New Brand Monday because today is Monday, but you're probably not seeing this on a Monday. Uh, I've got LoomTech in the house. LoomTech is a brand that I've known for many years. Um, I guess they're a micro brand, but almost crossing over to mainstream, I do see people in the wild wearing them. I bumped into several people that have been wearing them. So, um, you know, maybe they're more of like a crossover brand, uh, but still really happy to have them. Can't wait to show them to you. I'm going to show you three of the roughly dozen or so models that we've got for me today. I'm still rocking the Seiko with that 24 hour GMT bezel with no GMT hand. No, it's not lost on me that it makes no sense, but it, I did it for show. And uh, my other modified Seiko. Uh, guys, I am expecting more bezel inserts and stuff to come in, you know, very soon. So your watch your way will be expanding. But this video is not about that. Let's check out Loom Tech. So let's start here, right? The name of the company is Loom Tech. And obviously for a reason. They use a tremendous amount of loom on their watches. Super Luminova. Um, you see this guy on the left here? You'll see what's causing that in a second. Um, I got three watches to show you. I have a Chrono on the right here, uh, two Autos, a Swiss Auto on the left, and a Seiko driven Auto in the middle. Uh, so now we can skip the loom shots when we have to get up to them. Let's flip on the lights and go through the watches. So just in case you were interested, that is what you were looking at. We are going to start with the X3. No particular order. Uh, it's the one that was on the left. This is the Loom Tech Combat Field X3 Swiss Automatic with double curved sapphire crystal. Look at the crystal. Look at that thing. Is that crazy? Usually a brand will do acrylic when the crystal is domed this deep, uh, but Loom Tech decided to make it sapphire owing to their, I would say, their excellent abilities at manufacturing. Um, let's talk about price first. So the Swiss Auto comes in at 925. It's powered by a Salita SW200 movement. The case is 44 in diameter. It's 14 thick. It's 50 on the tip to tip. Uh, it is titanium carbide PVD, so it's a PVD plating process. You notice a lot of their watches echo a very military tactical feel. Uh, you know, no doubt missing from here. I tried to pick three watches that kind of, you know, hit that vibe, but also offer, offer something different. Uh, so I hope I did a good job there. Uh, let's see. So I did the case size. It's a solid screw down back. You can see here. It comes in a beautiful strap with matching PVD hardware. Uh, it does come with an extra nylon strap in the package. It is 100 meters water resistant and uh, has a screw down crown. So it's a Salita, so you unscrew it till it pops, wind it, you have a 40 hour power reserve, pull it out to set the time, it will hack. Uh, let's set the time forwards. Let's get it out of the danger zone as it were. And pull it out one click and you can set the date. Uh, push down and screw down till it locks and that maintains your 100 meters of water resistance. So like I said, uh, you know, they're all kind of military or tactical inspired bead blast finishes. Um, you can just see the AR on this crystal. You see the blue tinge to the light. It just looks beautiful. I want to definitely pull in on the dial so you can see the work that's done. Combat, combat field automatic and loom tech. Check it out. I know I'm taking, you know, showing you a lot of detail here, but I think it's worth it. It's worth it just to check the watch out because it really just looks amazing. So this is, you know, probably one of the pricier watches that we're selling from them. You know, a lot of the Swiss Autos are around the 900 to 1,000 mark. Uh, so let's see another example from them. Oh, before I get there, I'm sorry. Uh, this is a 22 millimeter lug. I forgot to say it, but because of the way the lugs are designed, they're kind of this wire lug. It will accept a 24 millimeter nylon strap as well. You don't have to uh, stick to 22. Um, you can see it, they're not like fixed lugs. They, you know, they're kind of like the old style wire lugs, but it'll take more than what you see. So uh, let's move on to the next one. So the next one I want to show you is from the Combat Collection. This is the B42 uh, chronograph watch, again with double domed sapphire crystal. Very light dome as you can see to it, but it is not distorting. It does not magnify. See, there's my finger on the top of it. 
again, tactical feeling, military feeling, not skimping on the loom factor at all. Powered by a Miyota OS20 quartz movement. This one comes in at 495. Uh, the case size is 43 millimeters. If you're waiting for a smaller watch, there's one coming at the end. Calm down. 43 millimeters in diameter, 12 thick, about 51 lug tip to lug tip. Another screw down case back. You can see that there. I mentioned that it is a doubly domed anti-reflective sapphire crystal. It is a 22 millimeter lug, uh, like the one before. It's 200 meters water resistant. Screw down crown. Uh, it's a limited edition of 200 pieces worldwide. It is an OS20, so it's a standard start, stop, reset chronograph with your elapsed minutes here, running seconds down here, and a 24-hour scale here. Uh, so this is basically a one-hour chrono. And again, the loom is the feature of the day. I mean, just check out how heavy it is. Well, let me zoom in instead of pulling it up. Check out how heavy the loom is applied to the hands, the markers. Just makes it a breeze to read in the dark. It's crazy how bright these things are. Combat B. Really, really nice. Signed crown. Buttons. Another, I'll go down, go back a little bit further. Another uh, nylon strap with signed hardware. Let's, um, you know, I didn't do the case back on this on the auto. Let's just take a look at this one. So you guys can get an idea of what the case back looks like. There we go. We're almost there. So there's the case back. The company logo again. Loom Tech B42, 200 meters, 316L stainless steel, sapphire limited edition, and you actually get the series number engraved on the back of the watch. A lot of their watches are actually, you know, limited editions. Like I said, it, the brand is new to me in the store. I have known the brand for a long time. Uh, I'm not really sure why I've hesitated too much to bring them in. I guess I've always had other fish I wanted to go after. Um, but, you know, like I said, very happy to bring these in. Uh, just holding them in my hand and just feeling them and checking them out. Uh, I feel like there's quality just, just falling out the sides. It's it's excellent. Let's Well, quality shouldn't fall out, right? That wouldn't be quality. <laughs> let's, um, let's check out the last one. I promise it's a sub 40. So I think you would agree this is the least looking military watch that I'm going to show you today. There's no PVD to be had here. This is the LumTech 30 millimeter automatic dress watch with double dome AR crystal. Again, there's that slight dome. This is model number C5. It's powered by a uh, Seiko NH35 movement. Um, you'll, you might know that the NH35 does have a date feature, but there is no date window cut in the dial from what I can see where the hands are. That is a negative on the date. Uh, Let's go over some of the specs. This one comes in around 585 bucks. It is uh, 38 millimeters in diameter. Beautiful. 12 and a half thick. 47 on the tip to tip. So very, uh, you know, much smaller than the other watches. And you know, maybe this is that 38 you guys have been looking for. It's a very simple dial, very clean, very beautiful. You know, nice, easy to read numbers, stick hands. Uh, definitely the less, the least loomy of the bunch, as you saw from the opening shot, uh, but still nonetheless extremely easy to read. Uh, screw down case back. Uh, I mentioned the AR crystal. It's an 18 millimeter lug, and it has a, you know, beautiful uh, five row link bracelet with a double push button butterfly deploying clasp. Nice brushed stainless steel, not blasted like the other ones where this guy is brushed. So less tactical more dressy. This one's limited to a hundred units and I'll do like I did before. I don't want anybody to miss out. Man, it's tough to get in with those crystals, but there it goes. So at the right angle, the crystal will just disappear on you. Automatic. Like I said, beats with the Seiko movement. Really great looking. I'm going to try each one on real fast and we'll uh, call it a day. So you guys mind if we go backwards a little bit? I'm going to start with the 38. Uh, this is the last one we finished on. So 38, yes. You may look at my wrist and say, wow, it looks like a 40. Well, again, I've, I've said this in many, many videos. Uh, because this has almost like an aviator style case to it, there is no bezel. Uh, look how thin the lunette is that goes around the crystal. Extremely thin. So the crystal of this watch is, I don't know, I'm just guessing 34 millimeters. Um, 
you know, maybe a E33, whereas the crystal on a Seiko Diver, you know, an SKX is, you know, like 31 millimeters. So, you know, even though the watch is 38, it gives a good, good wrist appearance, a good wrist presence. Uh, it looks awesome. Next up is that 43 millimeter uh, Combat B42 chronograph. Looks awesome. The PVD case, super stealthy. Uh, on my six and three quarter inch wrist, uh, I can go probably down to a six and a half inch wrist if I wanted. I'd have to punch extra holes, but definitely a whole heap of a lot of growth in there. I think it fits me just fine. I have no problem with it. Very comfortable and just man, super stealthy, super tactical. And the last one is that 44 millimeter X3. Is that not beautiful? Look at the crystal on that. And it's sapphire, so you don't have to you know. It's not like, you know, when you do that old Hesalite and acrylic crystals when they're domed like this. I like to tell people if you look at them funny, they scratch. This thing is sapphire. It's not going to scratch on you. The watch looks great. And I think due to the size and, not the size, excuse me, the construction and shape of the case, it definitely does not look like a 44. It wears so much more comfortably and so much smaller than that. Um, that's going to wrap it up for the video. If you stuck around to the end, I, I forgot to mention one important thing. I didn't even set up my tripod for this, obviously. I, we are only allowed to sell and ship these watches within the United States. Um, maybe it's good that I saved that to the end. LoomTech basically has dealer agreements all around the world, and you know our agreement is to sell within the USA only. So if you are overseas and you want to buy one, look to your local LoomTech dealer to buy it. Hopefully this video will uh, we'll help them sell more watches, even if it's not through my store. These are only three of the Loom Tech watches that we got. And like I said, I think I've got about a dozen or so styles. Please come on by and check them out. Anyway, this has been Mark from LongOnWatch.com showing you Loom Tech watches. Please like the video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so. If you have any questions or comments, put them down below, and I'll be sure to address them as soon as I can. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.